Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video featuring the Colormates Island Oasis eyeshadow palette. If you go to Zala Tree at all, you've seen this palette a million times. You might even own it. And I have looked at it and just kept moving and it's been there for years. And I started thinking the other day that why do we do that? Why do we not pick up certain things and then other things we're dying to try it? And I think it has a lot to do with uh, YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and if I never have seen a product talked about even once then I don't know I'm just not that interested in it. So this is why I think that YouTube influencers are so important in why the makeup brands throw free products at them because it does make a difference. But I would like to start reviewing products that people aren't talking about because a lot of times, you know, you'll see a product and you'll get curious about it. You look it up on YouTube to see what has been said about it. And there isn't anything there. Or if there is, it's not so easy to find. Or maybe the quality of the video isn't that great. Or whatever. Uh, I would like to start reviewing products. More products that don't get hyped. So this is one of those products. Color Mates is a brand that has been at Dollar Tree for years. They also have other products besides this. I did buy a lipstick too. But I wouldn't put that lipstick with this eyeshadow palette. I just don't think it would look good. So I will be showing you and using the lipstick on another day. But for now, we are going to use this palette. So what you get are some browns and a gold over here. So some warm tone shades. Then over here, you've got three blues in varying depths of color. And then here, we've got a white and we've got silvers and grays here and that's that's a lot of silvers and grays so seeing as how there are so many of those shades I thought that that's what I would do is do like a gray silver gray smoky eye type thing and maybe add a pop of blue to it at the end with the white highlighter. So I've already put on my face products and filled in my brows because people have short attention spans so I don't I try to keep the the time frame down every every once in a while I do do a longer get ready with me video but I try for the most part to keep the videos not crazy long. So I'm going to start with the eyes. First I'm going to prime my eyes with e.l.f. eyeshadow primer because I was thinking about this the other day too. That it isn't really fair to use like an Urban Decay Primer Potion or a MAC Painterly Paint Pot then go in with an eyeshadow palette that costs a dollar because it's probably going to make the eyeshadow palette perform a hell of a lot better if you use those really fantastic eyeshadow primers. So I thought I would use the e.l.f. because the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer is the best eyeshadow primer that is not high-end that I've ever used. And this is, I believe this is only a dollar also. I could be wrong on that. It might be one of their two or three dollar products, but it's definitely no more than three. But this is excellent. I actually did a video a long time ago where I used a, a ton of eyeshadow primers and then I wrote down like on a piece of paper which ones I had used and I swatched eyeshadows over all of them and this was the one that performed the best out of all the ones that I used. So I know that this is the best drugstore eyeshadow primer of about like 10 different ones that I tried. Okay so I'm just going to put some of this on the eye area and just blend it in with my finger. So yeah, that Color Mates eyeshadow palette from Dollar Tree. I, I cannot tell you how many times I've stopped and looked at that and thought about it and I was like, oh, I don't know. 
And it is kind of an unusual color combination in a palette to put grays and blues with those warmer shades over in the corner there. It's almost like the warm shades were an afterthought, which is very unusual because of course the trend now and has been for a long time to use warm tone eyeshadows. But I, I like cool tone eyeshadows too and I used to use them all the time when I first started my channel. I was crazy about them. But you know, it's just like with anything else. You get influenced by what's popular and what other people are doing and now you never see people using cool toned eyeshadows and I like them and I think that they are flattering on my skin tone and I think I want to start using them more often again like I used to. Okay so this palette is super thin and I wanted to know how much product you got in here but unfortunately that was written on the cardboard packaging that came with it which went into my recycle bin and then went into the big recycle bin and got taken away yesterday. So I don't have that information. And also, just so you know, the name of the palette, Island Oasis, is not written anywhere on the actual palette itself. It was only on that cardboard backing. So that's not really a good idea. I think uh, when this video is over, I'm going to put a sticker on here because if they come out with more palettes, I think this is the only one that they sell at Dollar Tree, but if they come out with more palettes, I don't want to, you know, get it mixed up with something else. So I'll just add my own sticker on there. This is a Canadian company, by the way, um, which is interesting because I've been really obsessed with LA Colors lately and they are also a Canadian company which is so funny because the name of the comp the brand is LA Colors LA Los Angeles but yet it's a Canadian company so that's kind of odd but anyway okay so this is very very slim and thin and not a lot of packaging used there I like that and then it does come with a sponge tip applicator but I'm going to use brushes. So my eyes are all primed, so I'm going to start with this Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to go in with the, the white shadow first. And I'm going to do my brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. Okay, that's pretty. Maybe just a tiny bit more on this side. Okay, now next I'm going to switch to this brush from Wet n Wild and none of these have names. That's why I'm not telling you what brush it is. It just says Wet n Wild on there. And I wish they sold the full line of the Pro brushes in stores. Uh, those are so nice. I, I picked up a second one the other day. I got the brush blush, the blush brush from the Flights of Fancy collection and um, I'll be showing you that soon in a video. I'm going to show you what I what else I bought from that collection. But yeah, those pro brushes are so, so nice. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do? Let's do, let's do this silver on the lid. That's really pretty. That's not showing up too well. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to put more product on my brush. Okay, so that kicked up a little bit of powder there. Okay, now what I'd like to do is take this shade right here and just flipping this brush over, I'm going to go into that shade and put some of that on the outer part of my lids just to give it some depth and dimension. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a blending type brush and let's start off with this shade right here because I'm not sure how dark this is going to be. I, I like to start with, when I'm working with one shade like this, I like to start off with a lighter color and then darken it up if I need to. So I'm going to go into the crease here. Okay, I think we need to go a little bit darker. You know what, I'm going to use that same color that I used for the outside part of my lids, I think. Which is this one right here. Yeah, let's go with that one. We'll just lay that right on top. Just doing small circular motions starting on the outside part of the crease and then buffing it inward so you get the majority of the product on the outside edge. Okay, now what I want to do is take this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in Sunglasses and this can be used as an eyeshadow base, it can be used as an eyeliner. Um, I have been loving this as an eyeliner because it's so easy and I just put it right on my waterline and lash line. I'm 
just slide it along. It doesn't irritate my eyes. What it's really great for though is the tight line. Oh, I just, just messed up. Okay, quick, grab a Q-tip, quick. If you can get to it fast enough with a Q-tip, you can fix any mistakes that you make with this. It, you know, takes a second to dry. If you go down a little bit further than what you want, thank God for Q-tips. Okay, now I'm going to do the tight line. Yeah, I love how smooth this is. It just glides along. No irritation at all. And it stays just fine. It doesn't like migrate or, which is amazing because it's a very, um, it's a very wet moisturizing product. But once it dries, it doesn't go anywhere. I don't even know how it dries when it's inside your eye like that, but hey, I'm I'm so happy with this, and this has been around for a long time. I should have tried it sooner. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go back into the palette, and I'm going to take a small Zoeva pencil brush, and I'm going to go into the the lightest blue shade in the palette. And I'm going to pick up some of that on my brush and go right underneath that eyeliner. Just give us a little pop of blue there. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes. By the way, one of you had suggested that I try buying a mascara from Dollar Tree. And at first I thought, no, because, you know, I like dramatic lashes and it probably isn't going to be intense enough for me because you were saying that, you know, it's more of a natural lash or whatever. And then I thought, you know what, for a dollar, why not try it? So I bought the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara, and this is kind of uh, smaller than a traditional mascara. And if you put one coat on, yes, it is a very natural mascara, but if you let the first coat dry, then go back in with a second coat, it's not bad. And it's a buck. And it's a wet mascara. See how when it when you get extra excess product on the end like that, that's how you know it's a wet mascara, and I like wet mascaras. So I'm going to do a coat of this. And then by the time you finish the first eye, you can go back and do the second because it probably will be dry. I'm going back into the mascara. Make sure I pick up plenty of product. But the second coat definitely makes the difference. Yeah, this is really, I, I like this. I can't believe this is a buck. 
Some mascaras you can't do a second coat because when the first coat dries, it gets like hard and crusty and then you can't put anything on top of it. This you can. Yeah, this is a really nice mascara. All right, now on my lips, if I'm doing this type of eye look with this color scheme, I like to do a pale pink lip, um, similar to my top, which is not from Michaels today. This is just something I've had for years. It's Dance Gang from Walmart. And um, I just think it's funny that I wore this today after I had been saying how much I like those Gildan shirts from Michaels, and then the ne very next day I don't wear one. But that's because I knew I wanted to do a pale pink lip, and my Gildan shirt is bright pink. So I that wouldn't have looked good with um, the makeup look. Okay, so I've noticed that since I started using the Beauty Treats lip scrub that I can't use my NYX lip primer anymore because my lips are so moisturized that it's like too much moisture. And by the way, I was wrong about there not being enough scrubby particles and there, there are. It's just they were a little further down in the container when the very top layer of the surface there was just like the lip balm, but then you get further down and the, the scrubbies are there. So I'm not going to do a lip primer. I'm just going to go right in with a lip liner. And this is a lip liner from NYX called Flower. This is the palest pink liner that I own. So I'm just lining my lips with this. And I think I am going to fill them in. So when I line them, I use the tip. And then when I fill them in, I use the side. And for a lipstick, I'm going to use this NYX round lipstick in baby pink. Now, this should have been purged from my collection a while ago, but I have never seen a lipstick this color. It's, it's a pale, pale pink. It's so cool toned that it almost has like a lavender hue to it, but yet it's not lavender, it's pink. If I ever see anything like this in another brand, I would like to pick it up and try it, but I have never seen anything quite like this before. And they don't sell this shade in stores. You can still get the NYX Extra Creamy Round Lipsticks, I guess is the full name of it, but they seem to be getting phased out of a lot of places, and the color selection from the places that do still have it is... Um, not that great, so I, I, I may have to, uh, if I wanted to repurchase this exact same lipstick, I might have to actually place an order from NYX, but, uh, which I've done before. I don't have any problems with it. I'm just used to being able to pick these up in stores, though. Wow, this is an old school look, huh, guys? So gray, silver gray eyeshadow with pale pink lipstick. Yeah, you can see my natural lip color coming through there. I'm just going to blend it on the edge there and try to take it down a little bit more.
try and cover up that natural lip, lip color there. Okay, so, so that eyeshadow palette worked out fine. I mean, you could even do it more dramatic, but I just didn't want to. Um, yeah, my, my roots are really coming in now, boy. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I think most of you know, unless this is the first time you've seen my video, I think most of you know that I'm letting my natural hair color come in, which is white, gray, silver, whatever, and I don't know if I'm going to make it. it. It's really starting to starting to grow out a lot now, but I still got, you know, a, a long ways to go, and I don't want to cut my hair short, but I don't know if I'll have the patience to let it grow out. One of you was saying that when you went through the growing out process, you had blonde streaks put in your hair to make it kind of all blend together better, which makes sense, but one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because I don't want to put any more dye or bleach or anything in my hair. It's been so healthy since I stopped coloring it. I mean, first I stopped using heat styling tools, blow dryers, curling irons, straighteners, all that stuff. And I noticed a huge difference in the health of my hair. But now I haven't colored it for several months and oh my god it's really getting healthy now I mean it's so silky and smooth and I really don't want to put like more dye and bleach and stuff in it just to get through the transitioning process so I'm just gonna try to hang in there and go with the flow so that's my that's my look using this color mates island oasis palette I like it and um and I like this mascara from LA Colors that I picked up recently and the LA Colors sunglasses eyeshadow eyeliner stick. So thumbs up on all those products. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.